could be one step away from the next big, huge discovery that's never been found in BC. He began going after gold as a kid, and he hasn't stopped since. Rockhounder prospector Norm Meriden turned his love for shiny rocks in the outdoors into a career. He scours the upper Fraser Valley and down at the Fraser River for that next rock or mineral. Over 650 different varieties of stone found on the Fraser River, of which I think there's about a dozen gemstones in there. So. It's a fantastic place to go out and start your search. Norman and his prospecting partner Jody Cordarelli have been rock hounding for over 20 years. They've located all sorts of rocks and minerals, including jade, gold, and most recently, thulite. Jody may have started out ambling for agates, but her interest in pretty stones just kept continually rolling. It's almost like an addiction. Once you find one, you want to find another because it's really hard to find the first one. And once your eye spots them, then they, it gets easier and easier to find. And I remember when I first went, it was really hard for me to find one. But after I found one, then I just kept going back and more and more. And now I go to the river 20 years later and I can find a handful, no problem. The landscape diversity in the Fraser Valley makes it easy for anyone to start hounding. You just need to get going. Research and then venturing out. Reading geology books as much as you can it really helps you understand what forms certain areas and where you can find specific things. Roadside Geology of British Columbia is a great book because basically it shows you all the geology, all the fault lines and areas where there's faults or areas where you're going to start finding really cool stuff. The mighty Fraser River is a cauldron for all kinds of rocks and minerals from across the province of BC. And despite what people may think, there is quite a variety. And it's fairly easy to do. You just have to look for what appeals to you. And then you can take it from there. A lot of times you can keep it, put it in a rock tumbler, polish it. People will use stones for metaphysical properties. And then sometimes people like to carry it just for like show and just because it feels good, it makes you feel good, or you can turn it into jewelry like I do. Although she's owned the Happy Prospector Rock and Gem Shop for several years, it was only four years ago that Jody began creating jewelry from her found gems. I learned a lot of the, my techniques and stuff through customers and they t teach me how to do it and then I've taught them a few things and it was just kind of like an exchange. Soon, Jody will be able to offer signature jewelry featuring Dusty Rose Thulite. Both her and Norm discovered the stone while out on a quad ride in the area. It's discoveries like this one that keeps the pair always coming back for more. Every day is a treasure hunt when you're out there. You could be one step away from the next big nugget or from the next Thulite deposit or from the next big jade deposit. So it's, it's just that treasure hunter kind of feeling that you get. If somebody had told me years ago that you can make a living off of the shiny rocks that you find on the ground, we would have been doing this a long time ago. In Agassiz, I'm Tiffany Gurdon for Shaw TV.